is very similar to the previous one, only stronger. You'll see from the adaption circle, it's got everything in this eye again. Start with the pupil, all the distortion around the top of the eye. These are all clusters that break away from the adaption circle and go into the pupil itself. Top class breeding trait. It's gold this time again, metallic, coming into a somewhat granulated, although flat, deep red iris. This again, absolute top of the tree breeding eye. We now move on to I24. This is the last of a breeding eye section. You've already seen this one, I6. We showed it earlier for its outer circle. What we're looking at here is the breeding sign itself. The breeding sign on this one is absolutely phenomenal. We look at here, we can see in the pupil itself, stacks of clusters, all the blue speckles coming into the black. The colour circle itself is a blue violet. Composite, which shows the adaption circle as blue. And what we're looking at among the blue is the black lines, the inner rings. It's absolutely chock-a-block with them. Some thick, some thin. Make no odds. This is an absolute top-class bird. Go through after that, we've got the silver violet, which is the colour circle. Wide, coming out a good 50% into the iris. Speckling right, right through to the outer circle. Well granulated, another top producer. This next section is what I call the special breeding section. We're only looking at two eyes in this one. They are the mauve. All those who've read my, re my writings, seen other videos that we've done, I've always gone on about the mauve patch, but never been able to find anything good enough to show. The first one, I-25. Look at it straight away, you see the purple right the way around the pupil. Now I'm not going to explain the rest of the sign, it's this colour itself. You're looking for the mauve. You see it all around where the blue it's red. Blue and red make purple. This is a very, very special, should be treasured breeding eye. You will not find any better than pigeons carrying the mauve. The more mauve, the better the breeder. My number 26, another one carrying the mauve, and plenty of it. Again, like number 25, if you look, the first thing you see is purple. After the pupil, you'll see the purple going blue, going into the red. Blue, it's red, makes purple. This is the colour for your very, very special breeding eyes. You don't just pick them up anywhere, they'll absolutely fill a loft both of these two. What we're going to look at now is the racing side of I sign, i.e. picking birds out for racing by using their I sign. All, come, the, all the colours come down from two, blue section and the yellow section, and all variants of. On screen, look at eye number 27, you'll see the blue violet in all its glory. Now this one was an absolute racing machine. Look down towards seven o'clock, you'll see all the cuttings, where the pupils all distorted, looks like pieces have been bitten out of it. Now this is an absolute phenomenon of a racing pigeon. This is on the blue. The next one we'll look at in this section is number 28, showing you the totally opposite side of the coin. This one's a yellow. 
you see that pretty wide yellow tape of adaption in there covering quite a bit of it but what we can see is good it's well rayed out blends well into a granulated iris this is the other side of the coin as I previously said yellow and blue these make up the racing circles the next part of the section on racing we're going to width. What I mean by that is the width of each circle and what it means. I'm going to show you some extra wide signs in this section. We'll start with I-29. The blue violet covered with a black circle of adaption, full black, pointing to racing rather than breeding. I'll add at this point. And what's special about it? Look at the dots. The silvery coloured dots, blue dots, all spraying out after the black. So going through the team up, or we'll say meet, with the outer circle, up towards the front of the eye, around three, two, three o'clock, you can see marrying up. A married up eye is a well, well racing eye. Showing you the width, the eye can go right through. Not at every point in this particular eye, but the point we're looking at, is where the blue dots meet around about two o'clock. On to eye number 30. This is width. With a silver circle. Just take up a good 50, maybe 60% of the colour which it should in an eye of this calibre. We're not taking any notice at all of the adaption circle at this point we're looking at that silver piece how big and wide again look round 11 o'clock you'll see the sprinkles going out right through to the outer edge what we call marrying when all five circles marry you've got a good pigeon and this one was second to none Now this section of the programme, we've now turned onto the racing eyes. This is a gallery that we've put up. Absolutely top class racing pigeons, all top performance birds. The first one we'll look at is eye number 31. Right, that's what makes this a special. Real tight pupil. How small the pupil is. This denotes long distance racing. Pigeons of small pupils always come well from the channel. Look again, look right through the iris itself. You see all the mountain ranges, ridges, bearing out what I've just told you. This pigeon, four or five hundred miler at the least. No problems at all. Another point on the racing in this one, the adaption circle. Up towards the front of the eye, between, we'll say, nine o'clock and six. You see it widens out there, it's darker, it's deeper than the rest. That's pointing to the racing segment. This pigeon, fantastic racer. It's I-32. In contrast to the last one, this is a speed eye, fast pigeon. The iris on it, flat as a pancake compared to the previous one. Good wide gold colour circle. The adaption is big and wide. I'm sure this one will breed as well. But it is an absolute racing machine. Look again, between 9 and 6 o'clock, that racing segment. Darker shaded. Dark lines in it. This one is showing you, race me. 